Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the things that was always missing in Windows, and even though there were workarounds that could allow it, um, there's not a simple way to do it, is using multiple audio devices together. So apparently, coming up is now going to be a way to share audio devices, which means not only will you be able to have the audio on one device, you'll be able to say, hey, I want to have audio on that other device also. So if you have more than one device, which a lot of people have we now today with Bluetooth speakers and all sorts of other types of devices, not counting that sometimes you want to share it maybe with an external device for recording or all sorts of other uh, things. Well, now there will be uh, coming in 25H2, a way to share audio. So shared audio, you will select two output devices to connect, and there will be, of course, uh, a panel that will give you uh, the shared audio possibility uh, in the audio uh, section. So um, until now, one of the ways that that could be done was with um, stereo mix, but not every PC has the virtual stereo mix possibility. And if you do, it's not always easy to set up. Uh, so here it's going to be a much clearer way of sharing audio towards multiple devices. I think this is a great idea. Uh, I think this is something that a lot of people wanted for a long time. Uh, which is uh, funny is that um, Linux and also uh, Mac OS allow multiple devices for a long time. Uh, really, Windows was behind here in this uh, particular department of sharing audio with different um, audio devices. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.